Okay. So, Don incorrectly determined the inverse of a function defined by this to be this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Let's start with this. What does this graph look like? Y is equal to root x minus 3. What does that graph look like? So what makes the inside 0? 3. So we move over 3. Do we go up or down anything? No. So we're starting at 3. It's a square root graph. Which way is the line going to go? Left or right? To the right, because x is positive, right? Correct, I should say, I guess. So it's going to look something like that. Okay. Now, if you just did the math, okay, and I said, what's the equation of the inverse of this? All right. If you're just doing the math, how do you find the equation of an inverse? We just did it. What's the first step? Switch x and y. So we go x is equal to root y minus 3. Then what do I do? How do you get rid of a square root? You square both sides. So I get x squared is equal to y minus 3. I move the 3 over. So I get that. So it looks like Mr. Don is correct because he said that's what the inverse is. Why is he not correct? Why is this? This is not a true statement. Why is, why is this? I just showed you it looks like it is. Why is it not? Yeah. You're on the right track. <laughs> Can you go any further? And the inverse should like mirror the the original? Sorry. The original? Exactly okay, you're right. So what does this graph look like? It's a parabola moved up three. So if I sketched that, it'd be that, correct? This would be y. So just visually looking at it, is this green graph the inverse of this? No. What's wrong? This is this bit. But where did this come from? It came from nowhere. Right? It's not in the original. So you, it can't be the inverse because the original has a domain restriction that is, if there's no sign in front of the square root, it just means it's a positive root. It's a top half. Okay? So um, it's not the inverse because the original. What do I want to say? The original has a, let's say, range restriction. Restriction of y is greater than or equal to 0. We have the top half of the graph. So if you were going sketch to or sketch the inverse, it would just have to be, I'll do it in a different color, that. You could only have, you can't create a new part of the graph if it's not in the original, okay? Now, the way, it, the way you two, well, they're not exactly the same, but the way to get this, as your inverse equation, is the original would have to be, look like this. Because if I say plus or minus root x minus 3, the positive is this bit here, and then the negative means it's open down and you get the other half. And then if you reflect it, you get the full parabola. 
Okay, does that make sense? So just watch when you're doing it, these square root graphs where this happens. If there's no plus or minus here, it means just the positive half, the top half, it's opening up. All right? Is that okay? Okay. Uh, I got one last thing to do of this lesson. Flip the page, please. Did I answer your question? You could, then you could just go, the domain is X is greater than or equal to zero. Then it would work, yes. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, okay, we're back to these things. What does this little open circle mean again? Yeah, you're putting one function into another function, right? So in this case, what does the f to the minus 1 mean? Inverse. So we are putting, so this one here is the inverse into the original. And this one here is the original into the inverse. Okay. All right, this is our function. f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. First step before we do any of these things is we need to find the inverse. We know what the original is. So to find the inverse, switch x and y. So you know how to do that. We'll see if we get the same answer. So we got x plus 3 over 2, or x over 2 plus 3 over 2, same thing. All right, now we have the inverse and we have the original. We can do, we'll do this first one over here. f of the inverse. Well, the inverse I just said is x plus 3 over 2. Where does all that go? Where do I put it? Into the x of the original. So right there. So I get 2 bracket OK, what happens to those 2s? Those cancel. Then I get x plus 3 minus 3. What's my answer? Hmm? Just x, right? 3 minus 3 is 0. So I get x. OK, so let's do this next one. The inverse, or sorry, the original into the inverse. So this means f of x is 2x minus 3. All of that goes in for x in the inverse right there. What happens to the threes? 
What happens to the twos? Same, same. It doesn't matter what the functions are. If you put the inverse into the original function or the original function into the inverse, it's irrelevant what the two functions are. It always equals x. Always, always, always. So on your test, every year, I will give a question. And I'll make it, yeah, whatever. I'll say f of x is equal to, I don't know, just make up some stupid function, 2x to the fifth plus x squared plus 1. Okay? And I'll say this. I'll say do this. Figure out what this is. Um, now, if you try to find the inverse of this, it is not easy. In fact, you, won't, you don't know how to do it. Okay, you can switch x and y, but because there's multiple x's, it's going to get really crazy, crazy and ugly. Okay, you don't know how to do it, but every year I do this on purpose because as soon as I say this, what is the answer? Irrelevant to what this is. X. You just write x. You don't have to do any work. You just go, oh, it's x. But every year I will have at least three people who will try to grind out finding the inverse of this. And they'll have like half a page of work. This is a one mark question. I just want you to write this. That's it. Not, a, not wrong. I mean, x. Okay? It doesn't matter what the function is. If I said f of x is this, I know some of you will know what this means. Most of you will not, but we will learn it. If I said that, f of x is the natural log of x. Most of you don't know what the natural log is. That's fine. You don't need to. But if I said that and then said this, what do you write? X. If I wrote this, arc sine of x. There's not even a number in there. Okay. And I said f of negative 1 or whatever. If I said this, what do you write? X. Okay. You put the inverse into the original, it's always, always x. doesn't matter what the function is. Okay? You will have a question like that on your test. So everybody should get one mark at least on the test. I hope. I hope you all get more than one mark. But... One mark guaranteed. All right. Any questions about that? Okay. Yeah. What questions did I give you yesterday? I don't even remember. Five and six. Okay. Do eight and 11 and 12, please. I'll write them down. Eight, 11, and 12. Right. Whoa. 8, 11, 12.